Better Kansas City with Alexis, Rob, Courtney, Lisa, and Haley. Welcome back. If your home needs a fresh look for the new year, but you don't have a big budget for a large remodel, there are some simple ways you can do it without actually breaking the bank. Tam Stone with Tam Stone Interiors is here with us this morning with some great ideas. And Tam, I want to get right into it, and I love this idea. I think it might be my favorite. Rearrange anything and everything. Yeah, first of all, it's free. Right. Um, and really, take all of your accessories, your artwork, everything out, and go back to when you purchased your home. It's a blank slate. Like, clear out the room, right? Clear out okay. everything. If no you purchase can, necessary. No purchase necessary. Yep. And then rethink about how the space could be used. Um, for example, if all of your furnishings are kind of pushed back against the wall, try floating, try angling, just try some different things. Bring in new artwork. If you, if you want to redo your space, think about, oh, we have artwork in another part of the house that might look great in here. Or if you have collections that are all over the place, yeah, yep. bring it in and create a focal Especially point instead books of... books and coasters that tend to just accumulate. Exactly, you know? exactly. So just really rethink this, the space from scratch. It's usually free, and maybe you can bring in a couple of things, and you have a brand new look. Right. And um, could be great. This one is, 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 I thought, was a great idea as well because honestly, let's say you're on a budget but you want to spruce up. Let's say you're selling your house, for example. Yeah. Replace those fixtures in the kitchen, cabinets, cupboards, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, all, uh, all of it. And um, we've done several segments here about trends and all of the, the uh, satin, nickel, and all that. I hate to say it if you have it in your house, it's out. Um, you really need to be focusing into, I'm sorry, Lisa, <laughs> into the. Um, She's the, a big satin, nickel girl. <laughs> <laughs> Um, into the more the brass, the warm tone finishes, and right. so those are really easy fixes. It's knobs, it's hardware, and really even changing out your faucets and stuff like that, you can do for very inexpensively. Hire a plumber for an hour or so to do it for you. Bathrooms, it, kitchen, all that kind of stuff. Everything, right? yeah. 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 And while you're at it, you know what? Get some new towels and replace some of the little um, kind of decorative things in there, and your bathroom or kitchen will look completely different. Like basically, new. like the the shower towels, the washcloths, all yeah. like the hand towels. Yeah. Um, and I also saw that you can you can basically go to Home Depot, Lowe's, any one of these. Hardware stores buy the uh, fixtures yourself yeah. and then have the sure. plumber. You know, so you, oh, yeah. you, you save a step and you save some money. Yeah, money absolutely. That way. Yeah. Um, this one I love. I just did it this new year. You create a personal space in yeah. your house. I created a little nook where I can actually like read a book or I have yet yeah. to read a page, by the way. But I did create the, the area in my living yeah, room. Yeah, well, you so. can dream about using exactly, it at least. Exactly. So it makes you feel good. But um, yeah, personal spaces are something that a lot of times we don't have in our own home, particularly if you're married, you even share your bedroom. Right. And so um, having that, whether it's a, a craft space, if you're a crafty person or a reading nook right. or something like that, um, just, you know, collecting your items. Maybe it's a, a basket for weights and, you know, workout videos mm -hmm, or something mm -hmm. like that. But having that little area that's yours and then invest in those pieces. So in your, your reading nook, for example, having, you know, a great journal that maybe you take notes in and a pen, a really beautiful pen, and yeah. use those accessories in the room to highlight instead of just, you know, the big pen that's in your drawer or something like that. Okay, so, we've got about 30 seconds left. We've got yeah. two more to go. Pump up the color. Yeah, and this one's easy. It's you know we've seen the color shift now to the the pastels, the serenity white, the right. rose rose quartz, and, and uh, simply white. And those are the colors of the year. Just paint a wall, paint a door, paint a piece of furniture. You'll look fresh and updated without too much. And then the last thing that's on our list is light. Right. It's winter time, um, so swap out your lights for something bright up the wattage, build a fire. All of those things will really make your home feel more cozy and comfortable. And I um, love that with change the light bulbs. You know, yeah. so you have bulbs that might illuminate the room and do a little better job of that. Yeah, exactly. Tamstone, Tamstone Interiors, great stuff there. Happy Thanks. New Year to you. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks. Alexis? You know